Railway cables, church roofs, even war memorials, all are being targeted by criminal gangs cashing in on the record level of metal prices. Today, a senior network rail manager told a House of Commons committee that the theft of copper cables alone on the railways cost them more than £40 million a year. One theft black spot is the North East, where an average of five incidents a day frequently halt trains and sometimes put lives at risk. Our North of England reporter Moulin Sanders reports now from Doncaster. Seven thirty this morning and police in South Yorkshire are hunting the people they suspect could have delayed your train. Houses are searched, evidence bagged, suspects taken in for questioning. One morning, one police operation, three people arrested. Officers are describing that as a success. However, there will be no shortage of those chancing their safety trackside to get some copper cable from the rail network. And when you look at this sort of material, it is full of copper. And that one section could get you £30 at a scrap dealer. X-199, that's received. Uh, we've got two males running on the railway track. It is the rife Far Eastern demand for copper that's plaguing our rail network. The men pictured here were arrested before being convicted at court of conspiracy to steal cable from the railway. Uh, we think that's them now. Just over the last 12 months, arrests are up by 47%, and we've arrested well over 100 people. And these are different people, not the same individuals. These are different people committing cable theft. So it really is a significant problem in the North East. It's pretty significant everywhere. Ripped out trackside power and signalling cable means delayed trains, an estimated cost to business as a whole of a billion pounds and a very worried network rail. I wake up, uh, one of the first things I do is I look at my pager uh, and on mornings I can have four or five cable thefts occurring over the night and um, therefore you know, the start to business uh, to get our uh, customers to work can, can often be very badly damaged by cable theft. How would you define that level? Uh, as an epidemic, it's absolutely epidemic levels for us at the moment. This is Network Rail's partial solution to that epidemic. It's all rather analogue, foam, glue and elbow grease. And hopefully that will secure it. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's like everything else in life. Whichever way we all go about doing something, if we want something badly enough, it will be taken. It gives you an idea of just how slow going and labour intensive this work is. We've been here for about an hour and they've covered maybe 20 or 30 metres in that time. And the rail network will have about 50,000 miles of this copper cabling. And if you are going to stop this crime, it may need something far more significant than glue, expanding foam and good intentions. The government says it is looking at legislation to make it much harder for thieves to sell their stolen rail metal onto scrapyards. Proof of identification and non-cash payments may be all that's needed to help keep more cable trackside and your journey to work tomorrow a little more punctual. Morland Sanders, Channel 4 News, Doncaster.